Hey everybody, thank you for coming to my channel. This is Wendy, and today I am experimenting. <laughs> of course I am. I came across, I was on Pinterest, and I've seen them do image transfers with uh, uh, plain uh, uh, packing tape, just clear tape. And I've never tried it, but I've seen it. And then I came across them using contact paper, like shelving contact paper. And I just didn't know how it would work. So I thought I would experiment between the two. So what I did was I got contact paper, just clear shelving contact paper. And I'll show you what I used. And I'm trying a book page. So I just covered it with a sheet of contact paper. And this was part of a magazine image, and this is contact paper, okay? Now, on the other side, I used packing tape, just clear packing tape, and I did the same. Uh, I did the book page, and the only thing with packing tape is you've got to overlap. So I don't know how that's going to turn out, but you have to overlap the tape. So, And then I did the bottom half of this image with packing tape, and then I'm like, what the heck? This is a piece of scrapbook paper, and this one had, here's one without the tape on it. This had a little, these dots are kind of like uh, paint. You know, they're raised a little. They have that shiny surface, the dots do. So I don't know what how that's going to work, but I thought, what the heck? So I did packing tape on this one. So what I've seen is you just soak it in some water. And this one is warm water, uh, warm to hot. It's just faucet water. So however hot you can get it, I guess. And then all we do is supposedly just submerge them, which is what I'm going to do. Hopefully I can fit them all in this little dish. And, um... Oh, this one's kind of big, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Well, we'll know if it does. <laughs> and then we'll do this one. All right. So they're all in. They're all smurged. And after, I'll time it. And then when I come back, I will let you know how long I kept it in there for. And uh, see what the results are. So stay tuned. Okay, everybody. It has been about... 20 minutes so let's see how I do here I think okay this is the oh this is coming right off this is the packing tape and I said I, le I left it for about 20 minutes all right so let's lay that down so this is well Make sure you have paper towels, folks. <laughs> okay, so here is the scrapbook paper. And this was with uh, packing tape. Hopefully, you guys. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so... Let's see. It's not coming off as smooth as the... Oh, but you can rub it. So, let's see if we could try the other side. Hmm. Let me, I'm going to leave this in here while I try the other, the other one. Okay. This was packing tape. Let's see if I can get any of this up. This was a book page. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but we'll see. Maybe it needs to be in there longer. I don't know, but... Hmm. Maybe longer, you guys? Um, well, it rolls off. Let's see, does it... Well, it rolls off the words. I don't think the book pages are going to work. But it did kind of... Well, you know what? We'll leave it out. If I roll it off it takes off you see it's taken off the words so and this was the packing tape so let me just lay it let it dry and see what it does 
All right, so next we have the contact paper, which I don't know how this one's gonna work. Oh my God, look at this. That just came off. Uh, oh my goodness. Look how cool that is. That is even lighter. That even, look at the difference. I'll show, I'll show you guys when it's dry. <laughs> so I'm wondering, okay, so here is the book page with the contact paper. Um, let's see if I can. I'm honestly thinking this not might work with book, well, here we go. Are you guys seeing what it's doing? Okay, let's see. So it took a layer off. Let's see if we get some more off of it. Can you guys see where the, uh, it didn't take the, most of the layer off here. Let's see, I love experimenting. This is so fun. Okay. Hmm. How do I get that other piece off? I wonder if it just, I'm gonna scrape it and see. Okay, let's see if that works. All right, so the contact paper with the book page looks like it's working. Um, it's just a little bit more difficult to get that first layer up. Uh, so, I got that little piece here I want to get up, but I don't want to get that, there we go, I don't want to get that layer that's stuck to it, you know what I mean, if I pull it up, alright, so that's pretty good, okay, so, oh my goodness, it's kind of like, um, a cloudy, okay, so let me let this dry, oh, I still have, I still got this piece. Okay, this is the one with the packing tape. I mean, and okay, here it goes. So let me rub this off. Oh wow, you guys. This is um this one you really have to rub at it. But it's taking off the white backing. And it's becoming see-through. And this is my scrapbook paper. Pretty, it's a pre the pretty heavy stuff. It's, it's one side, you know, it's white on one side. And um, so it's not as thick as double-sided, but it was pretty good. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, can you guys see through? Yeah, you guys can surely... Okay, you see that? Let's get the, do I still have the original where I showed you guys what it looked like? Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I have it somewhere. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let these dry and then come back and show you what they look like dry. But I am thinking this one is going to be my favorite. So stay tuned. Okay, folks, I am back, and let's show you the results of what I came across. Okay, so, the book page. Well, the one with the contact paper, I couldn't even get off. And then this one with the packing tape, it was taking off the words as well. So, I'm assuming that is a fail. Okay, so I wouldn't even try book pages. <laughs> then I tried... A piece of scrapbook okay scrapbook paper that's one-sided has white on one side this was on packing tape okay and this worked really well if you see okay so here's the back all right here's the front and you can on it actually well let's see what can I show you that is gonna can you kind of see in the back the red Okay, I'm wondering if a white will work too. Yeah, you'll see that you can see the words. Okay, 
So this, and it feels really good. It's not sticky. It's just tape, you know, the feel of a tape on front. So you can get that semi see-through with this. And this was scrapbook paper. All right, so let me put that to the side. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this was a magazine image that I tore out, okay? This top part was contact paper, shelf liner, clear contact paper. And this one was packing tape, this one, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys see the difference. Let's do a white background so you guys can see the difference. Contact paper, masking tape, or you know, packing tape. Can you see the Let's try, let's try this red. Okay, that might help a little more. So one still ha is not, is, is still see-through, but not as much as this one is. This one looks really cool. Um, I was gonna try to find some other papers that I was hoping would show better. Okay. That's the contact paper one. Let's move that over. And this is the packing tape. So you can see the, the cloudiness on this one versus this one. But they're both pretty dang cool. Uh, I will use both of these. And it's not sticky on the back at all. It's just like paper. The front is slick from the tape or contact paper so there's that now I did try because I've been working on a comic book so I thought I'd try a comic book page one of them <laughs> one of it is a fail I'm still trying to soak it to see if I can get any more up but it's not coming up it's really hard to get off um, this one I worked at I had to rub 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 <laughs> to get it to come off so that's the back and here's the front and it's semi it's semi see-through but I do like the look of it you know it gives it you know um just a really neat look I think to go in a book I th I thought so a pocket or whatnot so it's not as much see-through I mean it is vaguely as much as it uh, is is giving it just a neat effect from a comic book you know new, like a newspaper which I don't think newspaper will work but what do I know I have not tried newspaper so that is the results to my experiment so the contact paper I used was just some basic this is actually uh, it's removable adhesive it's easy liner it's contact shelf paper you get at Walmart or Target or wherever you know it's just the clear contact paper and then the mask uh, the packing tape I used was just stuff from the post office just plain packing tape is what I used for that and these are the results so I don't know just something different and something kind of interesting to uh, play around with, especially with magazine images. I'm all over the magazines right now trying to work with them. So this one's kind of, that's kind of cool because you can see through it. Pockets, bags, or just, you know, putting it on as decor. So let me know what you guys think. If you've tried this before, I know I've seen the packing tape. I've just never done it. And I just wanted to compare. And I think depending on what look you want, you know. But I do think it works best with magazine images. I just hate to say it, it just, it those just peeled off like butter. So here are the results. Let me know if you try it, what your results were. <laughs> if you like it, you know, like my video, subscribe, you know, all the drills. So thank you for stopping by. You guys have a good day.